What's going on, guys? Video Vision back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the comic that dropped today. We're going to be talking about the comic dropping tomorrow. We're going to be talking about undervalued NFTs. And did you guys know 40% of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel? Yes, sir. 41.1% yeah. to be exact. So Absolute if you enjoy bonus. our content, why don't you hit that little subscribe button? It helps us out. Uh, I don't know. Don't We don't want to beg for subs, but it, it does definitely help out. And I mean, I can't thank all of you that are subscribed enough because we're almost at 4.4K and it's been like, I don't know. I feel like we just did the 4K giveaway. So thank you guys so much. Shout out to the donors. Shout out to the subs. Also, yeah. if you go to the Discord, if you go to the little giveaway channel, tap that button you're, you're going to be getting a little aquaria if you win that and all you have oh, to do yeah. is just go to the discord go to the giveaway tap that button so let's go yeah i saw that carter with the surprise giveaway disclaimer we are not professionals we are not financial advisors this is not financial advice do your own due diligence and enjoy the video the comic drop here we had the craven's last hunt the first of this craven arc um drop today how to go for you i did not get anything on this yeah i i got lucky i got one it was a common not a special mint or anything, but I did get lucky. I checked the market, Ooh. opened the market. Like it was sitting at 11 gems, like immediately. And I was like, okay, that's tough. I might just hold this. But then I checked back when like double had been added and it was sitting at like 18 or something. So I think I ended up selling for like 16 or 17 or something like that. I don't know, but I got, I'd, I'd consider myself lucky because okay, okay. I don't know. I was surprised when I saw the price at first, but maybe people are stocking up on these because it's the first arc that's ever been on VV. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you guys got this in the comments down below and let us know if you guys ended up picking this up in the aftermarket, if this is one of your favorites. So yeah. yeah, it's, it's really cool to see these secret rares. Actually. I never saw these before, but these are really cool. How all of them I think all oh of them. yeah oh i guess not all but i don't know these are cool i haven't seen these i guess we never really reacted to the covers but they're cool yeah they are cool so um what are the yeah. comics dropping tomorrow because i have not taken a look at those so tomorrow we've got these uh what is this 239 asm 239 293 um, but that was close good try good try whoo dyslexia <laughs> kicking in let's go uh yo that ultra rare cover is yeah cool these are really cool i wonder are these vv exclusive yeah Ooh, so that's really that's interesting a, they're stepping up their game on those ones i really yeah. like those yeah i definitely agree i love the secret rare too i'm liking these as well um but yeah we'll have to see how it goes 30k mints so same as usual i'm guessing this will sit around the same price as yeah, the I'm one that dropped today but i'm surprised that they haven't introduced the q system because i was thinking after the first drop they're gonna be like tomorrow we're going to be trying a queue system or something you know and yeah. then introducing it with the the very start of the queue system so maybe we'll see that tomorrow i don't know i really yeah. do think that the, this is going to be their test for it but we'll have to see because i mean it seems like these drops are getting harder and harder every drop at least for me let us know in the comments down below if you guys agree with that but yeah definitely I, seems like these drops are getting harder and harder i definitely feel that i think drops are getting harder uh, i'm wondering if maybe they'll do like half and half like q system and then because then they'd have something like constant because i mean whenever you're trying to like manipulate something and see what's actually changing like if they can keep all the other variables similar so like i don't know similar comics being dropped day after day but then like tomorrow try the q system next day revert back to regular and just kind of compare but who knows what they're doing i mean yeah. they don't disclose any of this it's all speculation but it would be interesting i'm hyped for the q system because drops are getting extremely difficult yeah so uh, let, let's get into the undervalued nfts all right um i mean where do you want to start there's one in like i don't know one specifically i want to focus on but i don't know if you want to save that until last or are what. you gonna pull up the prices um we can just yes, sir. okay i'm thinking so some of the things i'm looking at are the labbits because i mean the labbits have like barely barely moved I know we've talked about this in previous videos. I'm, I'm looking at the Labbits, also independent artists, like any smaller thing with low editions because nobody's looking at the low editions right now. seems like everything that's pumping is the high edition Batman stuff. That seems like the most like things getting the pump are the high edition Batman stuff. So I'm kind of staying, staying away from that as of now. I do think Todd is looking pretty nicely priced at what what was that? 12,000, like 13,000? Yeah, I think 13. Because yeah, so that secret rare Spider Man is now a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that is insane. So I don't know. I, I'm thinking at that price, Todd's looking like a good deal. Um, 
Superman's yeah. looking like a good deal when Spider-Man's at 100K. Walt's probably going to get a little pump here soon. So, I yeah, don't know. I definitely and a couple things specifically. Um, OK, if someone can explain in the comments why the Spider-Man common is like 300 gems more than the uncommon when there are double the mints. Uh, and I don't know, the pose is less appealing to me, too, but I just. I don't know. I'd like to hear your guys' take on that because that really confuses me how the common is sitting at a thousand and yeah, the uncommon th- at like seven. It's been in the 700s. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think right now that loading screen is getting people like seeing it when they load in or something. That's so weird. Like, why? <laughs> yeah, I, don't I don't know. To me, that confuses me why someone would care if they own the same one that's on a loading screen because. I don't know it's just like one of the few poses but i guess if that is what matters that's what matters yeah I um, it is hard but, it is hard there's they're two completely different poses between the common and uncommon i do think that the uncommon should be sitting around the same price as the common though so at least because it's half the mints yeah. 16 that it's not like a small difference in mints yeah, either yeah. it's sixteen thousand mints of a difference that's yeah. insane there's thirty two thousand of the commons but yet there are more than the uncommon. That just amazes me. Yeah. I'd love to hear your take on that. Um, Another one. What was one we were talking about? I swear there was another one. I I, I like Powerpuff Girls still. I mean. Yeah. I I would definitely agree. Um, Powerpuff Girls, if you guys like see. calculate the market cap and stuff and compare it to pretty much any other set, you can see that the Powerpuff Girls are pretty undervalued just because it's in season one. I think, I think you guys should be looking at anything in season one just because of the like all the all the drops that are going to be coming out within this next year, within the next coming years. At one point, there's definitely going to be a tab that says season one, season two, season three. And when people go back and see the season one stuff, then they're going to be like, oh my God, like this stuff is the first season ever on Vivi. Another thing we were talking about was Finn and Jake from the, fir- the second ever drop on Vivi. We were talking about that before, Ben. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I mean... Adventure time let's go still seems pretty low. I know it's been slept on for a while, but I mean, yeah, figured it's worth mentioning. Um, but yeah, adventure time, power puff. Uh, I know we've mentioned Big Barda, she seems to be getting a little love lately, and then I think Starfire as well. But I'm still an advocate for the dragon girls. I mean, yes, they sir. seem to be kind of lagging behind still. Um, yeah, I mean, this one pulled back. It's still not over a thousand, which amazes me a little bit, but yeah. Um, yeah. Um, also, if you guys have never looked at Dragon Girl, any of the Dragon Girls, if you haven't looked at any of those yeah. in AR, open it in AR. <laughs> yeah. Go check those out because those are the coolest things on the app. They are, they are the most detailed things on the app are yeah. those Dragon Girls. Like when I hear people say, like, oh, that golden moments or something is super detailed, besides Elsa. Dragon Girl, I think, is by far more detailed than any of the golden moments. I mean, maybe yeah. C3PO and R2D2, those have some good detail. Wally's pretty detailed, but I still it's think it's like a different that... type. This is like a this is like beautiful. Like this is like an a piece of art yeah. that will be like in the middle of the room or something. Like this is yeah. a nice looking statue. And I don't I don't even think it competes with the other stuff. This is like the best looking thing there is, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's just my opinion and me and Ben's both opinion, but yeah, and I know it'd be controversial, but I was thinking just the other day, like if this golden dragon girl had the Disney name associated with it at all, you know, it would be like 10 (laughs) times this price probably. And so hundred percent, I, yeah, I think it's insane that people are valuing the name so much and kind of disregarding the product itself. Um, yeah. but I don't know. I've been, it's, you know, we've the said only that pro- for a while. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's hard. It's definitely hard because like, it's like, what should these pieces be priced at? Because I mean, m- new users, when they come in the app, I was explaining earlier that we're in wave one right now, I think. And I'm trying to, I'm going to make this like as simple as I can, but I think we're in wave one right now where people, new users are getting the app and they're buying whatever they can. Like they, they don't know what to buy. They don't know what edition numbers are. They don't know, like, they're not looking at mints at all. They're buying the floor no matter what. And I think this wave two is going to hit, which is going to be all this money from wave one in like oversaturated things. Like, I don't, I mean, Batman who laughs is definitely (laughs) a cool, Batman who laughs is definitely a cool collectible. But just knowing that it was at like 70 bucks, like three days ago or something, now it's like 650. Like, that's a little, that needs to cool down a little bit, in my opinion. But, I think some of this money from collectibles like that, that have a ton of additions 
are going to end up coming from those to like maybe some of the things that haven't pumped up a little bit and maybe looking more into scarcity like the labbits and dragon girls and yeah. I, I still think bubbles is a great pickup even though that's a super high price but i think that's like something that's in the phase two or wave two and yeah. i and also addition numbers i think a lot of like regular addition numbers like we made a video on mint numbers the other day and i think a lot of people are just disregarding like mint numbers like three thousand or two thousand and because like they're not low or something you know yeah so i think once more collectors come in and once people actually start looking at the mint numbers those mint numbers are going to be way more valuable compared to just the low mints yeah i definitely and i think at some point we'll see a shift in demand towards a little more scarcity because right now it's heavy in the ip heavy on like the major brand names like disney and marvel and stuff but i think eventually people will realize kind of the flex the significance the importance of owning something like uh, this ultra rare, for example, same with the ultra rare Dunny, the I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff, the apes, all of that. Only having like less than a thousand people, uh, you know, being able to own one of these, I think is a major point that gets looked over all the time because I don't know, like even comparing that to the Walt statue, uh, only 4,300 people can own that. There's probably people with duplicates and stuff like that. And I know that can be said for others, but I still think that difference at some point people will notice like, wow, there, I mean, there's a difference in price here. That's very drastic. And the ownership, I think of some of these very rare items is, uh, just as much of a flex as owning a like popular, like Disney thing or something like that, but it's all subjective. Um, but yeah, I think eventually we'll see a shift. Some other things I did want to talk about. The Labbits are still heavily slept on. They've not yeah. moved at all. I realize they have not moved at all. Like yeah. barely anything. I know there's been like, uh, you know, we haven't seen any new news from Kozik. We haven't heard, you know, updates or any of that. But I mean, he's still, I feel like people are forgetting that he mentioned that there will be eight Labbit drops or eight yeah. Kozik drops this year. Uh, one of which or multiple of which are likely going to be the Labatron or whatever. And that's going to go crazy. I'm pretty sure that that can do very well, um, even without having a popular IP to back it. Uh, and also just think about IMX. I don't know if you guys remember the little IMX pump we had, but a yeah. lot of the stuff that's likely going to go to IMX first is still slept on, hasn't been touched. These Labits, I mean, literally haven't moved and a lot some of the other stuff that we saw pump originally like i shout out to utopia for the shut up and draw but go this went up to like 800 and now it's dropped right back down to where it was like it just pumped and dumped super quick it was really weird to see because it's still like it's not like the addition number has changed or anything and i think that these are going to be some of the first to go to imx you know it will have to see how that goes when they you know do go there but i do think that there's some potential in a lot of these like low mint independent artists or smaller artist stuff that's going to be going to IMX first, most likely. So those are, those are some of the other things. Um, and then comics, I don't know a lot about comics. There's a couple I want to focus on, but um, this is the one that I was talking about. So Thor, you mentioned that Thor common is sitting at like 500. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it fell yeah. a lot, but. Yeah, I guess it pumped up to 500 like yeah, just this, right before we started filming. This price might not be completely accurate based on like, you know, this takes data every like hour or whatever. But the fact that Thor Common is at 500 and Marvel Comics number one is OK, it's jumped up. But this was at 500 at the same time. So might have missed on that opportunity. But I just I don't know that. The Fantastic Four number one, number five or whatever with Dr. Doom. I just think those when another like random comic that doesn't have a lot going for it pumps, you can expect to see these others. So they might be catching up, not as undervalued now. But I also think we mentioned MCP points, rares, uh, uncommons, I think are pretty good for MCP points. So we might see, you know, a shift in that Carter has been saying for a while that as soon as they drop MCP and people are reminded that that exists, we might see a shift in, you know, money moving towards things that give you more points. Yeah. But the final thing I wanted to say and shout out to uh, whoever posted this Air Force One's on my feet. <laughs> uh, they were saying they were pointing this out and this Fantastic Four number 13, which I look over. I don't own one of these. I don't think. Um, but this is the very first VV exclusive cover ever released. 
And we've seen how first appearance matters. The first of a lot of things we've seen Todd, the first set with Joe Mad and Becky Cloonan. So that being said, uh, I think we've seen a small increase in price for this and the uncommon. If I can go back here. Uh, yeah. So these two, I think, have seen a little spike because the ultra rare is sitting pretty close to the secret rare and price. Ooh, um, yeah. But yeah, I do think that this is something to maybe keep your eye on. Maybe it'll grow even more. I don't know how much people will value the first appearance of a VV exclusive cover. But when you think about it, it is a pretty big deal. And David, you himself, that's what they were using in this is, you know, he's saying like waiting his entire career to be able to drop an exclusive cover that he had you know some say in or whatever or is that a is, part that of that is so, pretty cool yeah the only the only problem is i just I, I don't think i do think that cover is decent i like the human torch in it but yeah i don't i'm not a fan of this cover either but i do yeah, think that that's the a significance it, yeah. yeah um of this being the very first vv exclusive carries some weight we'll have to see because i mean all this is still like speculation subjective you know whoever believes in this and really likes it will go on buy and push the price up but I don't know. Something to consider. I thought this was really interesting. Shout out to EL, I think, for tagging us um, with this. But yeah, that's a few. I mean, there's a lot that still feels like it's being slept on in the market, but those are a few, especially season one, low mint stuff too, that could be going to IMX early because I feel like people are forgetting about IMX a little bit, even myself, because yeah, we same. saw that crazy pump before this you know, recent pump we've had where there was kind of that teaser for IMX, nothing even happened. And we saw a really rapid, crazy, crazy yeah. pump. So I'm just wondering how things will do when it actually drops. And yeah. yeah. Lastly, lastly, we're just, we just also got to keep in mind what's, what's coming this weekend, because if it ends up being a good drop, it ends up being a bad drop, that's going to influence the market as well. So keep yeah. that in the back of your head too, because if they drop star Wars this weekend or something, then it would be bonkers and we would be <laughs> scrambling for some gems. But we have yeah. to wait and see what happens. Yeah, if it's if it's Mandalorian in the girl from it or Boba Fett, sorry, then I don't think it's going to be crazy gem squeeze or anything. I don't think there will be a crazy gem squeeze, probably yeah. no matter what they drop this weekend, because it's not going to be huge. Like they know they're not going to drop the biggest drop ever this weekend. But I mean, it's, they, they could <laughs> like you never know. They could drop yeah. Darth Vader this weekend. Everyone would go crazy and drop all their stuff. But we'll have to see. There's a ton of money coming in still. So. Keep that in mind whenever you sell something. I think that's it for the video. If you guys yes, liked sir. it, drop a like. Subscribe because 40% of you are not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. All you got to yeah. do is click that little red button. If you guys like the video, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you want to know how to post, this is VU Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go, homie homies. Let's go. Let's go, homie homies. Let's go.